Hi, welcome to the Dark Reflections Customs YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you tips and tricks on how to mask off your wheels, whether they're billet wheels, cast wheels, steel rallies, um, anything you want a two-tone powder coat. Uh, the two-tone I did here was I left the faces polished and did the backsides uh, gloss red to match my truck and this is powder coat. So the hardest part is actually masking it off nice and clean because your powder coat line ends at where your tape ends. So basically the first thing I did was I cleaned the entire rim with wax and grease remover and it was two paper towels. I used regular uh, body shop style wax and grease remover. You can use acetone, uh, lacquer thinner, it's fine. What we're trying to do is make sure that the rim is completely clean, doesn't have any waxes, oils or anything else like that. And you also want to have your hands clean too because you're going to be touching tape that if you get your, you know, hands that are oily or dirty uh, on the tape, then your tape's not going to stick very well. And it's very crucial that your tape sticks real well because if your tape lifts anywhere when you're masking these off, then you're going to have a spot that's going to have powder coat where you didn't want it to be. So the towels that I use for wiping this down is regular shop towels. Buy those in a roll like Home Depot. Then once I've wiped, I've wiped them down with wax and grease remover, uh, the two towel system, one on, one cleaning it off. Uh, I'll take and I'll use Sprayway, but you can use any kind of uh, foaming glass cleaner you like. I just prefer the Sprayway. And I'll give it one heavy uh, final spray down and then wipe it clean again with the paper towels. Uh, after we do that, next step is uh, I'm going to show you the tapes and I'm going to grab a different wheel that I'm going to mask off and show you the other tools that I use, uh, which is basically a tape and two different types of razor knives. Uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, now I grabbed a different billet rim and I uh, want to show you the masking technique that I used on the other previous rim on this one. Now this rim's already been wiped down with the wax and grease remover, the spray glass cleaner, and everything else. Now, the one final thing is, oh by the way, this block of wood is to keep the wheel from rolling away. Usually I have two of them, one on each side, to keep the rim from wanting to roll off my table, because that would be a big disaster. Final step is, take your hands, take your glass cleaner, and I spray to my hands, and I clean my hands real well, and then take a clean paper towel, and keep my fingers clean. This is the tape that I've been using. It's basically a green uh, powder coating tape. It's available online at lots of different places. Uh, I'll leave a couple of links in the description. I've seen it on Amazon. Eastwood carries them. And basically this is a tape that is designed to withstand the oven uh, cure of powder coat which is approximately 400 degrees. Uh, if you try using regular tape to do any of this, uh, if the powder coater puts it in the oven, uh, it's going to basically burn the tape to a crisp and you're not going to be able to get it off real easily. This stuff here uh, actually removes fairly easily. Uh, once the rim cools down to about 100 degrees, you can actually remove it while the rim is still warm and actually remove it pretty well. Um, so basically, I take it. This one is um, 3 quarter inch width. I have it in uh, different widths. This is a 2 inch here. And basically, it just depends on what you're masking off, the size of the tape you're going to need. This one here is a little bit big for some areas. This one here may take multiple overlaps, but we can cover it. Most of the rim will be covered with this one. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is show you uh, the techniques of what I do to put it on. Number one, I'm trying not to touch it anywhere I don't have to. And I'll take it and I'll take scissors and I will cut a piece basically um, to the size of what I need. Now say I'm going to powder coat inside here red. I want to protect the polished surface. I'm going to run the tape as close to the edge as I can, but leaving an overlap that I can trim off with a blade. Now this is a pressure sensitive tape, meaning that it needs to be pushed down relatively hard for it to actually grab onto the surface. 
Uh, the reason that I stress about everything being clean is if your hands stay clean, the rim is clean, the tape will stick. Um, if you don't wash your hands or don't clean the rim really well, um, you might come back in an hour and a tape will be curled up and on the on the table because it's not adhering to the wheel right. So basically just take multiple pieces to cover whatever you're gonna cover up. See, so this side isn't completely covered here. I'm gonna take another piece and go this way to cover this little gap we've got here. And basically, Try to put it on without any wrinkles. I like to have quarter inch overlaps anywhere that uh, I have to, if one piece overlaps another piece, try to do it by a quarter inch either way. That way you don't have any little areas where the powder coat might seep under and bleed and leave a line. So you have a couple of choices on how to trim this uh, off, this little lip. Um, they sell these Ulfa knives. Uh, you can buy them at Home Depot also. Um, they sell um, online. I found these uh, surgical scalpels. Uh, these are really sharp, so be really careful with them. Um, typically, the last set of rims I did, I went through about five of these. So it was pretty much one blade per wheel. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to cut the tape flush with this edge. So you're taking the scalpel and you're running it on there but you're not digging into the wheel surface itself so let me show you how i did this one here and it's gonna be a little bit difficult standing up here but basically found my edge and i hope if i use the right side of the blade i'm barely pushing against the wheel and basically I trim this flush with the edge and if you want to know if you're flush or not run your finger slightly backwards and you'll feel any tape that isn't cut correctly this here came out pretty well usually I like to take and clean the knife blade carefully between every cut so now I'm gonna run and do this one found my edge And I'm running it right up against the aluminum without digging into it. Now, here I have one little area that didn't quite mask correctly, so I have to come back and do it again. Now, if I take my finger and run it across here, I don't have an edge I can feel. Now, Basically the process is, is overlapping by quarter inch and covering the entire wheel face area you don't want to get any powder on. And this technique also works well if you are doing a two-tone. Say you wanted you know, a black rim with uh, yellow windows. You'd have to powder coat the entire rim first in the black color and then come back and tape anything you wanted to stay black. So, it actually gives you a really cool custom trick to your wheels and powder coating on aluminum is probably by far uh, the best adhesion you're going to get. Um, I've had really good luck with it. I personally take it over to a powder coating shop. The reason I learned how to start masking the wheels off is because you're going to find out that no powder coating shop is going to want to do that part. They're not used to doing time consuming work like this. Now the other set of wheels I did in complete masking, I had about 10 hours into doing it, which seems a bit much and I didn't do it all in one day. Um, I did it pretty much one wheel a night uh, for four different nights and uh, so they were all done and to my satisfaction. And then I came back and checked for any uh, daylight leaks, meaning anything that wasn't covered with tape and from there, I took them straight to a powder coater. They basically took and hung the wheels, uh, sprayed them, and uh, I picked them up 
as you saw the other ones, all done, cleaned them up. Uh, just going to run some polish on them again, make them all look nice and new again, and put them back on, put tires on them, put them back on my vehicle. Um, one tip I forgot to give you too is once you have masked all the area here, if you're going to do like I did and, and it's polished inside the spokes, you're going to want to sand any areas in there um, because usually they, they blast with powder coating, but it's very risky to blast the billet rim. So I found that sanding once I've masked off carefully with a uh, coarse uh, brown scotch bright pad, and I'll leave a link in the description on what these are, uh, as I'll take and once it's all masked, I will scuff, basically dry, take this dry, and sand anything that's gonna have powder that you want it to stick to. Um, once you're done sanding it, Check your edges again, make sure nothing curled up, retape anything you have to, and uh, go, take them straight to your powder coater, pick your color, have them spray them. Uh, usually I like to unmask them as soon as they come out of the oven and they're cooled off enough, um, if that's an option. Um, for you to be there when they do them, I would do it that way. If not, I would ask them if they could unmask them for you carefully and try not to scratch the wheels. Um, because being the polished bill of aluminum, it's really easy to scratch with a fingernail or, uh, forbid they try using a razor blade or anything to try to take the tape off and, and damage your wheels. But doing it the way I'm showing you is not really difficult, uh, just very time consuming. And I found out that with little pieces, because this tape, I'll show you a piece here, it doesn't flex or curve like most tapes will. It's a really, uh, really rigid tape. And I'll show you here on a spot on this wheel that, uh, it usually doesn't like to take contours. Like if I try to fold it in here, it won't do it. It's just too stiff, it doesn't stretch. So you'll have to divide and conquer by small pieces, uh, overlapping, and basically I like to do it this way. Tape, cut, tape, cut. As I tape, I cut. And that way it just means that I'm only cutting one layer at a time. And just make sure like where another piece would meet here and you're cutting on an edge, that it looks uniform. Sometimes it just takes a flashlight and you look real close. Um, maybe even take a magnifying glass and just look. And you want to make sure that these lines on these edges are as straight as possible. By those lines being as straight as possible, your powder coat edge will be nice and clean uh, and sharp and it'll look like the rim was made that way versus like uh, someone just taped it off and you know did a rattle cam paint job or something. Um, really, on a scale of one to 10 difficulty wise, um, the hardest thing is gonna be is learning how to take your blade and run it on your edge without digging into the rim. And basically, you just want to keep the blade as parallel to the surface as possible so that you're gliding on the aluminum, never digging into the aluminum. And you also don't want to have the blade tilted up to where you're cutting it and then you're feeling like a lip like this because if you leave any kind of area where it's high like this, the powder coating is not going to get behind it and then you'll have fogged in spots that won't look correct. Um, with patience, in practice, I've actually gotten really good at it. Um, difficulty scale, it, it, once you learn how to cut it, it's just time consuming. Um, most people would probably give up after, you know, I would say the, the first couple of tries. Um, I would say just, if it doesn't work for you today, come back and do it tomorrow. If you have a junk rim to practice on, that might not be a bad idea. Take that, cut out your tape, keep practicing cutting your tape on your edges. And uh, when you get good at it, then you can go ahead and do that. And you, you've seen the end results that I had were really impressive, really clean. And uh, I've got one more item I'll show you that I did. And I'll go grab that and be right back. And right here I have the knockoff spinner that goes on the other set of wheels I showed you, the first ones, that I wanted to do the recesses in red. So what I did here was take the larger tape and had to cover everything again that I wanted to leave polished. 
and took the tape, covered the entire area that had the recess. Then I sort of you know rolled it over and around and taped off multiple pieces were taken to do this but just to give you an idea made sure the tape was pressed flat as can be and I took the scalpel and I made the incision here at the edge very carefully this was actually super difficult and traced it all the way around the perimeter and basically removed the center section out to make the powder go into that area only and um, actually as you can see it's kind of a neat little touch um, little knockoff spinner that actually goes on the center of the other wheels there so I have the red here and the red inside all the spokes and it's just something you can say that no one else has and uh, that's what makes the difference is being different so I may do a follow-up on this video in a little bit more detail I wanted to kind of get a feeler out there and just see if there was any interest in it please comment if you are more interested in seeing a complete wheel done and I'll do an entire video of the complete process uh, from beginning to end um, thanks for watching please like and subscribe to our channel thank you